And welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by United Impact. And I wanted to tell you something uh, about uh, VFL Jerron Maiman and what he's doing. Help him get the word out about a community outreach project that he is involved in. Uh, you can visit unitedimpactfoundation.com for all the details about this program that he is growing here in East Tennessee. And you can reach out to him through that website. Uh, you've seen Jerron on the show this past year talking basketball with us. Um, does a great job so you can learn more by checking out unitedimpactfoundation.com okay guys uh, every Tennessee fan I think would love to know what it feels like to run through the tee uh, whether it's the first time you did it which was that Florida game which had to have been an incredible if you've never been in the building for that to be the first time <laughs> or whether it's your last one where everybody gets their name called and you go out and the the cheers are all for you what was that like uh, talk to me about the what makes running through the tee special. We got we got six seven minutes here, so no rush. Just your thoughts, and we'll start down. We'll start with JJ. Okay. Uh, just your thoughts on running through the tee. What made it so special? Well, I mean, it's it's special, and and I think everybody takes it a little bit different. Again, with me, I think um, the teammates that I played with, um, it was a family, and so it, it was pride. You know, you feel so much pride. You know, you're standing in the, in, the, in, the, in the tunnel there. Everybody's getting hyped up a little bit. I mean, I, I had a tendency to just gravitate towards the back a little bit. I was, you know, just c catching my breath and taking it all in. And, and you know, you kind of feel the chill bumps and the hair raise up a little bit on your hands, and you can see the band, and you kind of just, you know, everybody's just kind of peeking out there, and you, start, you know, the cheerleaders kind of run this way, band coming out. Um, but it's just pride and just unbelievable feeling of just uh, – to me, it was family. It was just pride and family, and just ready to go out and, and lay it on the line for your brother yeah. out there. I mean, yeah. that's just that's, and that's why I think that teammates are different. Teams are different now than probably the guys you played with yeah. and I played with. I mean, Sterling did, yeah. and and you, you looked out for each other, man, and you were proud of yeah. each other. You just pat each other on the butt, and you guys were ready to go out and and lay it on the line for each other. And and, and just coming through the tunnel and and, and running through the tee is just um, to me the, the thing is just pride. It's pride, man, and just. It, Oh, yeah. that's, that's, that's the only way I can describe it. Sterling? You know, it's funny. My first time running through the tee, I, 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 I knew I wasn't going to play because I'm red shirt. So I was, I, I was happy to dress. And um, I'd never been to a college game before. Wow. In my life, never even seen a college game. So everybody's talking about how this running through the tee thing is and so on and so forth. So went through pregame, warm up, no broken sweat, feeling all good. Then we go in the locker room. Now, I, I'm saying this again. I know I'm not playing. I'm <laughs> redshirting. I'm happy to dress. And I never get the adrenaline rush I had when we walked out of that day on locker room and turned toward that tee. And it hadn't been, even been formed yet. They opened up that tee. And I heard at that time <laughs> 92,000 fans screaming like they just hit the lottery. <laughs> I mean, I was like, how can you not be ready to with anybody in a different color jersey when you get through that. And then my other, my, my most sacred time running through the T is running through with Herky Payne. And um, our oldest, uh, one of our oldest yeah, VFLs away, just, just passed. Yeah. And he never ran through the T. And Letterman Day, I ran through the T with him for the first time holding hands. What, what year was that? When yeah, was uh, that? 2015, I believe, or 16, somewhere back then. And um, he never ran through the T. It was Letterman's weekend. And I said, Herky, I'm going to run with you, brother. Yeah. Oh, come on, DJ, throw the bird. <laughs> and, we ran through the tee old hands. Well, that's a good story. Right. Yeah. Uh, Will Overstreet, running through the tee. Talk to, first of all, let's just start with that first one. Yeah. I mean, you, you've never been to Neyland Stadium before. And yeah, never been. Yeah, it, it was just, it was unbelievable. You know, it's, it's one of those things like, you know, everybody tries to do all this build up for, for getting ready for a game and all this stuff. And most times you have to do that on yourself, right? You've had to learn how to do that. You do that in the pros, you do that in high school. You try to manufacture that energy, build yourself up. And usually it starts and happens in kickoff and it's, just you, right? It's your individual time and things like that. But, you know, with a T, it's like being shot out of a cannon and <laughs> everybody behind you pushing behind you on that and you're ready, right? And so it, it is the most electrifying thing that you'll do because when you start moving and then the crowd gets louder as you cross mm -hmm. over, it, it's an amazing, amazing feeling. There's, there, I, I don't know of anything yeah. else like it that I've done been a part of since then. I mean, you can run out as a starter in the pros, 
<laughs> hey, you know, you, but you're still having to get yourself up. Yeah. That carries yeah. you. I mean, it just it pushes you out of that tunnel. Yeah, it's an amazing thing because you think about all the other co all the other colleges that have their own traditions, but the running through the T. I mean, this isn't the the the, the Sandman stuff they play uh, at uh, was Virginia Tech. South Carolina. Does. South Carolina does that too. There's a sandstorm. Yeah. I think they play Metallica at Virginia Tech. That's cool, but it's, it's not, not a this. you know it's a launch it's pad. It's, it's been happening yeah. for a long time too. Man. I mean, it's, you know, it's and it's not every tough. like you know how do you get ninety two thousand or hundred thousand people yeah. at the exact same, same time, time making that noise? I mean that's what the power is, right? Because it's the the timing of that oh, yeah. is just that's when it happens. That's, that's the, the magic. magic. That's the magic. Yeah. Uh, you know, you it's one of the reasons. <laughs> In addition to I do a television show, I'd like to see Tennessee do better in football season. <laughs> uh, you all are alums. You'd like to see Tennessee do better. Absolutely. But for the players over there now, I'm sure it's still special to run through yeah. the tee. Yeah. But they don't know what it's like when, I mean, let's face it, as good as this fan base is, there have been a lot of days over there in the last few years where there's mm -hmm. 80, 70, 60,000. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the same where you're, you're expecting to go out and lose by 30 points. How bad are we going to lose to Alabama? That's a lot different than prime time, one versus two or three versus five, top national teams going at it. And you the feel pack. the noise. <laughs> you yeah. feel the noise. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's I mean, rocking? The, those I mean. guys aren't getting that. And yeah. you, you certainly hope that Tennessee can turn this around so those players can yeah. um, you know, experience it the way – you guys yeah, experienced it. Yeah, I really want that for him. And, and it was a saying we all said, and I'm quite sure uh, Will heard it during his time playing. If it is to be, it's up to me. So they got yeah. opportunity to make it happen. Yeah. And they can. They really can. I, you know, it's, I know our record says one thing over the past few years, but we're better than those records. And, we're, and, it, and it's up to them to want to be champions. See, you, you can win for what your mother and father gave you, which are those genetics and that skill. But it's up to you to be a champion. And we made that decision. I'll never forget, in 88 and 89, we were there. Everybody had us down and out. And we said, if you don't want to win, quit our team. Two people left. Yeah. And we knew we had something special. And I know they did, too. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's something that, that comes from within. And, you know, your coaches will put you in the X's and O's and all that to happen. So they got the opportunity. If it is to be, it's up to me. They have that opportunity to feel what we already know. The best teams that ever run through that team, the players are the ones that are motivating that Man. team. Yeah. It, coaches have to put you in the right places, but player-led teams are your absolute best teams to play. You agree with JJ? Yes, I mean, it's undeniable. I mean, it's, it's like, like it is, it's just you're out there, not for yourself, you're out there for everybody. For everybody. It's, 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 it's one, one team. It's one person. And when you, you have it, together. it, you can't bottle it, That's but it. you know you got it. You know it. you got it. it mm. You feel it. You can feel it. You don't yeah. got to look over. You know. You know. There's some person's right there beside you. You know. You know. Very quickly, like ten seconds each. How tough was it the last time you ran through it? Hurt. Cried. Yeah. Same. Emotional. Yeah. Same. Yeah. <laughs> and it went so fast. Yeah. <laughs> the first one to the last one didn't take that long. How about that? Will Overstreet, JJ Serlis, Sterling Hinton. Guys, thanks for being here. Uh, talking about where the program's been where it is now, and of course talking about 100 years of Neyland Stadium. We'll see you guys, I'm sure, before football season kicks off. Yeah, we'll certainly man. see you in football season as well. Uh, thanks to them. Thanks to all of you for watching. Certainly appreciate it. Thanks to our sponsors, including JJ over here in Safety Thank System. <laughs> thanks to all our sponsors. Get out and see them this week. See you next Sunday right back here on the Sports Source.